What's up, everyone? Welcome back. All right. So the fourth quarter, kicking things off here. It's a pretty fucking close game, too. Three to three. Hasn't been a very high-scoring game. Wouldn't be surprised if this one went into overtime. Yeah, he's got room there. Might as well run it. Good move. Ooh, man, that was shut the fuck down. Yeah, second and 13. That sucks. All right, so second and 13. See what they got. Well, he got some yardage that time. Basically picked up what he lost before, so. Third and 10. Probably going to be a pass play, I'm assuming. Be kind of retarded to run it, but yeah, never know. You could break a good run on third. Nope. Access denied. All right, so we'll see if the Vikings can do anything to break this tie. Ooh. That's rough for the Vikings. They got a lucky bounce. All right. Well, I'm going to go take a piss real quick, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. And it looks like 
Minnesota, once again, unable to do anything. So now Miami's going to have another chance. <laughs> yeah, at this rate, this, gonna, this game is going to go into, like, triple overtime for fuck's sakes. This has been an extremely low-scoring game. Yeah, picked up a few yards. All right, so we'll see if the Dolphins can do anything or at least get into field goal range. Ooh, stays on his feet. That actually ended up being a pretty decent run. So it looked like he was going to get screwed right away. But not bad. Not bad at all. Getting down to the wire here. Again, though, all the Dolphins need to do is get into field goal range, kick a field goal, and then hold off the Vikings. But yeah, I mean, if nothing else, at least it is an interesting game. It's a close one. Oh, not able to make anything happen there. That is exactly what they did not need. And that looks like it'll do it. Pick six. <laughs> and that is exactly what the Vikings needed. And what the Dolphins did not need. Yeah, that was just a bad throw. Good move by the defensive guy and then... A nice run all the way back for a fucking touchdown. Well done. <laughs> nice little celebration there. Gotta imagine the Vikings are happy about that one. And that coach is thinking, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Alright, so we'll see if the Dolphins can pull off some kind of miracle here. Tie the game up. So they'll get another shot on offense following that 
pick six, and now the kick is away. This fielded at the two. All right, so not a bad little return. Oh, wow, that was fucking terrible. Wow. What a bad move by the quarterback there. That was fucking stupid. Oh, no, he's in the backfield. I'm going to back up and lose even more yards. That was garbage. Oh, got it there, though. That was well done. Trying for something there. Not too bad, actually. I'm surprised he got away there. Ah, holding. That sucks. Uh, uh, uh. And once again, the coach is like, are you fucking kidding me right now? So that's exactly what they don't need. First and fucking 20. And the penalty now makes it first and 20. They'll look to throw. And he'll get it up to the 33 yard line. A gain of four on the play. And it'll be a second and long. Now Tannehill saying, let's get to the line. Yeah, they're still managing to keep all their timeouts, which is good for them. Oh, injury! Oh man, just fucking destroyed his ass. Looked like he fucking clotheslined his ass. Damn, that was nice. All right, so it all comes down to this one here. See what they can do. Of course, if it goes to fourth down, they're going to go for it. I mean, they have to, but looks like they get the first down. They should really use a timeout already, though. I'm not sure where he was throwing that fucking ball. They got 24 seconds. They still actually have all three of their fucking timeouts. See what Miami can do. 16 seconds, two timeouts. Plenty of time to score a touchdown. Of course, I'd be taking shots at the end zone at this point. Yeah, that's not exactly the pass I'd be making there, but still picked up some decent yardage. They only got one timeout left, though, so they better... Make it count because they have probably about two plays left, I would say. So 
I mean, they got to go all pass plays at this point. They'd be complete idiots to go for a run play. They need to pick up big yards. Because a field goal's not going to do it here. They need a fucking touchdown. Yeah, that was well done there. Took a little too much time, though. They got four seconds, so I'm not sure if that last timeout's really going to help them much. Well, four seconds left. Can they make it happen? So the offense has it first and two. They're pretty close. Just got to get someone in the end zone and get it to them. This is it. Nope. Not able to make it happen. Just short. They were close, but again... Just barely not enough. Yeah, very tight game points-wise. Not a whole lot of point scoring going on there. Of course, the interception for the touchdown was basically what ended up giving the Vikings the win. But yeah, it was a close-ass game right up to the end. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. And with that, we sign off from Miami. All right. Well, guys, I got to say, it was a good game. Uh, so, yeah, that is going to be it for me for today. But stay tuned as uh, by the end of this week and next week, I'm going to do a lot of recording for you guys. But again, I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break this week like I did last week from my playthrough projects and uh, just do some pick up and play stuff. I'm probably going to, again, do my normal recording session on Friday, you know, with Pokemon Battle Revolution, Guitar Hero, and some other shit. So, should be fun there. But yeah, really looking forward to the end of this week, Saturday, because uh, my dad leaves for his trip. So again... I'll have plenty of time this next week to record because I can actually record, you know, during the evening and the night time, which is when I like to record. You know, it's my favorite time to record because, of course, I've had to record in the morning ever since I moved to my dad's house. But, yeah. Anyway, stay tuned, guys. That is going to have to be it for me for today, though. So, as always, everyone, stay cool and rock on. This is Multi-Step signing off.